Doug Polk was born on December 16, 1988 in California, Pasadena. From early in life, specifically at 5 years old, Doug Polk has developed a great love for the strategy that's involved in games. His father began teaching him the game of chess since his early childhood and from this stage he started developing a flair for games. Later on, his family relocated to Raleigh, North Carolina from California. He graduated from the Wakefield High School in the year 2007 and at the age of 15 he has stated getting engaged in competitive Warcraft 3 electronic sports. In addition to coaching people and building accounts, Doug Polk participated in several World Cyber Games also known as WCG and hence his online poker handle is named WCG Rider. Upon graduating high school, Polk attended the University of North Carolina but as he soon found out, college wasn't for him. After leaving the university, he started trying his hands in various things to make ends meet before deciding to pursue a full-time career in poker. With his background in the game of chess and warcraft, he was able to pick up the tricks and strategy fast and before long, he started playing with real money. He started his games at PokerStars with 1 cent, 2 cent stakes. As he progressed in his career as a professional poker player, he moved from the smallest stakes to bigger stakes. He has significantly improved in his skills that his current deposit at poker games increased from $20 to $10,000. His brilliance at poker game at the early stage has earned him a position with some of the best poker players in the industry. At this period of his professional poker career, Duck Polk portrayed himself as break-even rake professional. One thing that was noticeable in the life of this young poker player was his knack for praising himself. If there are many things that Doug Polk is short of, self-esteem is definitely not one of them. While Polk may have thought reverting from a winning player to a fairly break-even player might have been hard, he said that in 2009 things got even tougher. He was running something like approximately 80 buy-ins under EV at mid-stakes full ring which takes its toll in a game where win rates are one or two blinds. But then things would turn around when Polk made the transition to what would turn out to be his niche game. In late 2009, he started playing heads of poker and immediately went from playing 2-4 to playing 50-100 stakes several months later. Heads of poker came very natural to him and he started to build his legacy. Despite running up the ranks of the high stakes online realm and becoming one of the most feared players in the game, Doug Polk again hit a bit of roadblock in 2010 and some of 2011 that he mainly attributes to himself. He almost got into the broke mode but he picked himself up and geared up to remain focused on poker games. By the end of 2013, he has built a reputation for himself at the online poker platform. Popular for his ability to stand out in high stakes online poker, Doug has continued to make waves at the online platform. It does not matter whether it's tournaments or cash games, Polk always has a trick or two up his sleeves that usually work in his favor. He started making a name for himself in the world of online poker when he crushed heads up online by playing at some of the highest stakes in the history of the online poker game. As a matter of fact, he was regarded as one of the best players at the online heads up cash games. Eventually, he was out of opponents to play because no one wanted to go heads up when they considered themselves outmatched. At that point, he played with another professional poker player named Ben Sulski during a highly publicized poker game of 15,000 hands. They set up a challenge to play 15,000 hands at $100, $200 blinds and $20,000 buy-in no limit heads up match with a $100,000 side bet. At the end of the day, Doug Polk walked away with a win of $740,000 plus $100,000 as bonus for winning the game. Doug Polk net worth at this stage has become steady with various wins coming into his account. It is essential to note that he has done more exploits in the poker field through the online platform than in live tournaments. Although he was very popular for his online exploits in poker, Doug Polk also participated in a couple of World Series of Poker events. These events have greatly impacted on the Doug Polk net worth. In the year 2014, he made his first win at the World Series of Poker. He participated in the $1,000 Turbo No Limit Hold'em event and at the end of the game, he earned a total of $154,000. Same year, he traveled to Melbourne for the 2014 Aussie Millions and to play the $100,000 challenge. Doug Polk was one of the first eliminations in the tournament but he used his option to re-enter. It proved a good decision as he ended up placing fourth for $770,000, far and away his biggest life score at that time. 
He also entered for the 2016 WSOP where he played in the $1,000 Tag Team No Limit Hold'em event. He played with Ryan Fee and he won a total of $154,000 at the end of the game. Doug Polk made his biggest poker win in the WSOP in 2017 when he played the $111,000 High Roller for One Drop No Limit Hold'em event. He won a total of $3.7 million at the end of the game. In the middle of 2015, he launched his poker training site which he called Upswing Poker. He started the site with Ryan Fee, a fellow professional poker player and his longtime friend. Also same year, he was chosen to play Heads Up No Limit Hold'em with AI poker bot Claudico by Carnegie Mellon, a leading university in artificial intelligence and machine learning. This game brought in many professional poker players including Don Kim, Ron Lee and Jason Less. Each of the players involved in this game was brought up to the scene to play 20,000 hands against bot Claudico with a team total of 80,000 hands. At the end of the game, the human poker players ended up winning Claudico for a total of 730,000 chips. Doug Polk beat the bot at a total of 213,000 chips. The team was given the sum of $100,000 for winning at the game. Over the years, he has outdone himself over and over again, pushing the limit and becoming better at his best game. He has broken several records for the biggest cash in the course of multiple streaming. In the year 2016, he became the winner of the Spring Championship of Online Poker which earned him a total of $115,000 at the end of the day. Towards the end of 2016, he also participated in another $10,000 WCOOP event where he came second. He left the event with a winning of $455,000 which was a record breaker at that point. In the year 2017, he also went for another tournament where he earned a total of $271,000. All these tournament events were streamed live and Polk's cards were exposed to the glaring eye of the viewers. It is important to mention that the act of revealing your whole cards at a game makes the game tougher than it already is. During his games, Doug Polk usually streams with a bit of delay, but his opponents can easily know his style of play through the process of watching the game later. In spite of this shortcoming, he has still been able to win some of the biggest poker tournaments online. Doug Polk is undoubtedly the apparent heir to the famous Heads Up No Limit Hold'em throne. Some time ago, he made a list where he rated the top 10 best Heads Up No Limit Hold'em players all over the world. Of course, he ranked himself as number one on the list and many professional poker players and even fans cannot fault his rating. Using his upswing poker site, Doug Polk started a challenge with the goal to turn $100 to $10,000. The challenge took a period of two years and after 58 long sessions, the challenge was finally completed. The upswing poker website has all the details of the poker challenge. Doug Polk started the challenge in 2016 with the intention of driving traffic to his Twitch stream. At the commencement of the challenge, he deposited $100 on WSOP.com and began playing $1 heads up sit and goes. By the end of the day, he finished with $17 down. As time went by, he started hinting on minimizing his poker game to the barest minimum, but since he started a challenge, he could not walk out in the middle of the challenge. Finally, after two years of grinding at the tables, the challenge is finally over, but the question in the mind of all poker lovers is whether this would actually be the end of Duck Polk in the world of poker. At the conclusion of the challenge, he informed his fans that they will be seeing less of him at the poker tables in the near future. However, he promised to transfer his experience into a component on the upswing poker site. According to him, he undoubtedly loves poker, but the game is becoming boring for him now. He went further to say that he has only one life to live and he has the opportunity to live it once. Therefore, he is not planning to spend his life doing things that no longer makes him happy. He believes he has done everything he needed to do in poker and it's time to move on. Duck's tournament data is not readily available to most tracking websites. However, the fact is that he has earned millions of dollars from just tournaments alone. Not too long ago, Duck Polk uploaded the graph of his heads up games on his Instagram page and the graph shows that he has been involved in more than 300,000 hands of his favorite no Limit Heads Up Games. He also mentioned on one Reddit thread that even though he doesn't play so much poker again, it is still imperative that he publish the graph. From the available data that could be deduced from the graph he posted on his Instagram page, it is clear that he has made about $3.5 million in earnings in the format of the game he posted. 
According to High Stakes DB, his online winnings amounts to more than $2 million. While his online poker games have been a huge success, he has also done fairly well in live poker games. In total, he has won 3 WSOP bracelet, 11 money finishes, and 5 final tables. Doug Polk is not one of those quiet professional poker players. He is very vocal and says what he thinks, whether his thoughts are right or not, that is not a big deal for him. As long as he can get it off his chest, he is fine about it. He does not only talk about himself, but also about other poker players. Polk was very active in the news, views and gossip topic on the 2 plus 2 forums at the start of his career. He has also gotten into arguments with various poker pros over the years. During a live stream, it was clearly visible that Doug Polk had Jason Mercier's account tagged as a bad reg on PokerStars. Jason Mercier too noticed this and he and his wife voiced their discontent publicly online. Doug was also very outspoken about the challenge of Daniel Negrano. He was vocal about Daniel's comment of winning at the game of 2550 stakes with just two weeks of practice. Doug criticized Daniel Legrano for underrating his opponents. Polk often criticized Daniel Legrano publicly for his comments defending PokerStars' rake increase. He held a contest once for his fans to create the best memes that make fun of Negrano and his infamous remarks. He even went as far as to call his Canadian nemesis an embarrassment to the game and a little bitch on Joey Ingram's podcast. Of course, Negrano didn't just take that line down, he in turn said that Polk is just trolling to create some drama for views. The two have played in the same high stakes tournaments since their feud erupted and they were even seated at the same table multiple times. Doug Polk is undoubtedly a strong player in the industry. Over the years, he has been able to develop himself even though he has no formal training in the game. Relying on his knowledge of game strategies during his days of playing Warcraft and the game of chess, he has been able to build his skills and experience to the point of becoming one of the most famous professional poker players in the world.